first of all, I would like to say what a tremendous honour it is to have been asked by Her Excellency to act as a senator, an independent senator, um, where I will be drawing on my experience serving at the senior level in the trade union movement and in the private sector. I will be focusing primarily on matters and perspectives as they impact upon the trade union movement and the practice of industrial relations um, in general. For me, this is an opportunity to give back to my country, an opportunity to contribute in a field which I love, which I have committed to for almost 20 years, and to do my part in ensuring that the interests of labor and the interests of all who practice industrial relations um, is heard and that we are adequately represented and that we are seen to be given our contribution to get in Barbados exactly where it needs to be as a nation. Can you give us your background in trade unionism? I joined the Barbados Workers Union 16 years ago and I was assigned primarily to the Industrial Relations Department. I eventually rose to the rank of Deputy General Secretary and Director of Industrial Relations. The trade union gave me an opportunity to provide service not only to the working class in Barbados, but the working class of the region and further afield because in that regard, I did get the opportunity to serve at the international level, um, though for a period of time shorter than I served on the national level. After nine or so years, I then went into the private sector, where I, I would say, championed the, the, the industrial relations portfolio of a Barbados-based conglomerate that gave me the opportunity to have an impact on industrial relations throughout the Caribbean, English-speaking Caribbean in particular. And after that, I spent some time at an entity which allowed me to spend even more time um, traveling the region, getting an appreciation of trade unionism and industrial relations in the Caribbean. And I'm currently, though, at the University of the West Indies, where my mandate is to take care of the industrial relations portfolio. It's generally peaceful. There are matters which are ongoing, which are going to be impacting the trade union movement in ways in which the trade union movement has not seen before. There's therefore going to be a need for a recognition that robust and frank discussions are going to have to happen. They, I think that generally we are going to be striving towards striking, striking a balance between the rights which Labour has fought for and won over the years with the responsibilities that come with our country's capacity to maintain those those rights, those privileges.